I've discovered a method for activating a hidden author mode inside of ChatGPT's new agent, and it fundamentally changes the rules. And today, I'm showing you the system. Step one is the intelligence briefing. Here we are inside of ChatGPT. We're activating the author agent mode. We're gonna go through all 15 of these prompt packets from the AI author mode, and we're gonna save the very best for last. So make sure that you watch this video all the way through. And first things first, you have to stop guessing. We're gonna run prompt number one, which is the market research deck. The mission is to force the AI to act as a professional market research and analyst and deliver a high level intelligence briefing on a niche. And for our test, we're gonna choose dystopian sci-fi. What I'm gonna do is just copy this prompt, add in the specific information, and then run it and see what we get. We filled in the prompt and here we go. So right now we're setting up the desktop. This is the virtual desktop. So here's what it's doing. It's not just browse, it's parsing the raw HTML from each of these sites, extracting key data points like price, page count, and publication date, and structuring it in real time. This is automated data collection at scale. It's really like having an assistant that is doing all of this research for you. Now, I'm not showing you the full process because that would take us all day, and this would be the longest YouTube video ever. So this is definitely gonna take you some time when you're running this agent in the background, but that's the key. You can do it in the background while you do something else on your computer or go make lunch, go take a walk, get other things done. Well, this is done for you in the background. And what's really cool is that you can get a record of the activity. You can take over the browser yourself and do some manual work if you want to correct things. And you can even stop it. And right here is very important. Before accessing any paid databases, I'll let you know for approval. You want to make sure it's doing that every single time. And here's what you get. You get a Google Sheet, a CSV, covering nine dystopian sci-fi titles. You're going to get the publication date, the imprints, the pricing, the page count, the tropes, the hooks, everything. And then you get this executive summary with key findings, with trends, recommendations, conclusion. You get an entire PowerPoint with publication timeline, distribution, tropes, hook patterns, language clusters, hook pattern insights, imprint landscape, page count, so much information. You get all of this from this one prompt. The intel is useless without a plan. This is where we deploy the core of author mode, the God tier idea and outline generator. This prompt commands the agent to use all the data from step one to architect a complete story. I think I said we were gonna go through all 15 of these prompts. We're actually gonna go through five of my favorite, but you can get all 15 or 16 in the link in the description. With this prompt, you're going to get a log line and premise paragraph that combines all the market proven tropes with a fresh twist. You're gonna get a cast list, a detailed beat sheet, a theme statement, subplot grid with plot A and plot B, a whole scene bucket list. And of course we have our guardrails. And here we go. This is your blueprint. You have your cast list with your core desires, fatal flaws. You also have a detailed beat sheet. Everything from the Save the Cat style plot outline with an A plot, a B plot, inciting event, plot points, opening images. Of course, you have your theme and comparable tables and your subplot grid. You also get this scene bucket list, everything you need to write a perfect story. So now you've written the book. You get feedback from people. It's a chaotic, contradictory mess. This step is about turning that noise into a clear signal. We run prompt three, the beta reader feedback compressor. So this is gonna take all of your beta feedback and give you an executive summary, your top wins, top fixes, action table, and scene by scene punch list. Here's all of the feedback that I pasted into this prompt. Let's go. Here are your clustering labels, all the labels from the feedback. You're also gonna get an executive summary, and this is so helpful for the big picture. Here are your top wins, and of course your top fixes as well. Things you can do immediately to improve your story. Action table is one of my favorite things to talk about. These are low, medium, and high effort things to fix your story. It's gonna give you a concrete fix. For example, here's a high impact, low effort. Write an extra intimate scene between Alara and Cassie before the midpoint to deepen their bond, a quick way for a high impact. And you can just go through each of these to improve your story and level it up. Finally, a scene by scene punch list to quickly improve 
every scene in your story. Your project is polished. Now you need to get past the gatekeepers, the agents, the publishers, the platforms. We deploy the next prompt, the agent target list builder to generate the access codes. With this prompt, you're gonna get a ranked list of up to 50 agents or editors who represent your exact genre. You're also gonna get a CSV file with the name, agency, email submission windows, personalization angles, and more for each agent. You're also gonna get a Word document with a short how to personalize email. Everything you need to get your agent. And here we go. Let's run the prompt. To save time, we're only going to look for 10 agents. By the way, you can ask the ChatGPT agent to look for only agents that accept new authors. This agent is searching each of the websites. And here we have the files. We have our CSV file with all of the data points I mentioned. And we also have that personalization guidance document. I'll show you those on the screen. Let's keep moving. Look at how helpful all of this is. Incredible. This is it. The final and most powerful prompt in the sequence, the launch asset factory. We are commanding the agent to build an entire professional grade marketing campaign. This is the moment author mode goes into overdrive. I honestly don't even know where to start with this one. You're going to get a complete asset factory. You're going to get all of these deliverables, retailer sales descriptions, press kit, 30-day social calendar with post, ad copy variants, a newsletter launch sequence, and more. Of course, you can add anything else that you want it specifically to do for you. Here we have the whole zip file with everything that I've covered in the launch asset prompt. I'll show you a few of these things on the screen so you can get a sense of what they are and how helpful they can be to your marketing efforts and publishing and promoting your book online. So what's the bottom line here? Author mode isn't a magic button, it's a system. It's a new way of thinking where you are the architect and the AI is the high speed construction crew. It's the single biggest advantage a solo creator ever had. I've documented this entire system. All five of the master prompts you saw today, plus 10 more, 11 more I think, covering a part of the process are broken down in a massive deep dive article on my website. It's a complete playbook. It's 100% free for you to read and use right now. Just copy and paste the prompts. The link is at the very top of the description. So go there, grab the prompts, and let me know in the comments what you're going to build. The game has changed. It's time to start playing on a new level. Thanks for watching. You're definitely gonna run into some errors like typos, but often the agent is going to fix that themselves. It's certainly not a perfect process, but it saves you so much time with research. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create what I call a universal boot prompt. You paste this at least once per session. Here's the universal boot prompt. You're my author ops agent. Work autonomously in agent mode to reach the end state I described. Here are the operating rules. Always narrate what you're about to do and wait for approval before logging in, emailing, submitting forms, or, and this is very important, spending money. Batch confirmations whenever possible. This is gonna save you so much time. Create clean, shareable artifacts. For example, CSV, Google Sheets, Docs, Slides, Markdown with clean file names and clear file names in organized folders. You want to keep everything organized. Show intermediate results early so that you can know if you want to pause and change things. When data is ambiguous or missing, stop and ask. Don't just make things up. Verify critical facts with at least two sources. Delete temporary data at the end and give me a short run log. That's it. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.